अच्छा लिजन ना कैन आई गेट योर नोट जेरोक्स करके वापस कर दूंगी अरे प्लीज यार आई यू पिज्जा आफ्टर द एग्जाम पक्का इट वॉन्ट टेक मच टाइम नो गिव हेलो हेलो I should have prepared my own notes now. So, it's always good to prepare your own notes. Why should you depend on someone else or the textbook? Pura textbook. You know, someone will be like, "Ha, hey, yar, I can do it. I'll just study the whole textbook before the exam." So, always be ready with your own notes. but you might have many questions right ha huh? how to prepare it so what is the right way to do it what are the things you should avoid so how about i tell you the effective ways to prepare your own notes ready get your book start noting down the points i will be discussing theek okay? hai first thing there are certain things you need no no this is not the recipe it's like ha huh? you need aadha chamach namak now in preparing the notes also there are things you need first thing a notebook you might be like ma'am we know this ha ah, ha i know i know very obvious but still as this video especially for the chemistry students for preparing chemistry notes so i would uh, say take an unruled notebook because there will be lot of diagrams and the flow charts and the mind maps so it will be better if you use an unruled book second point i've seen people you know pura 200 pages ka notes full it's filled with only blue ink sometimes it's hard to differentiate okay this is a question this is an answer why use different colored pens sketch pens glitter pens use the highlighters stick some notes like you know oh this is important this question was asked in this year you know these may, these kind of questions can be asked from this topic it will always help especially you know during when exams are very near it will definitely help okay yes reference books ha you need reference books right to make your notes but there are things you need to avoid too many reference books ha so first you will call shrija ha which book are you referring to oh is it very nice okay 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 i'll i'll buy it okay. then you see someone else referring to someone uh, some other book oh this must be good okay don't do that see no one knows you better than yourself so you know right okay which book is right for you which is easy to understand which you can follow so choose that one and one more point is the opinions see sometimes they will say ha huh, you should have done it like this yaar what is this no just change it no see that book or the notes is for you and only you right that is your notes and you are the one who will be studying or reading that so don't ever consider the opinions of others now also even though i'm a make a making a video on it these are just few suggestions that you can follow okay so what are the points to be kept in your mind when writing notes keep it short and crisp i've seen people ha huh? whatever there is there uh, it is written in the textbook copy paste why are you even preparing the notes yaar time waste so always okay for example oxidation reaction theek okay? hai so the complete definition is oxidation is a reaction in which either oxygen is gained or hydrogen is lost okay but you can aram se write it as oxidation gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen it's understood right you can form the sentence in the exam that's it and the point number 2 is try to add lot of equations and diagrams chemistry mein to you know there is no scarcity of equations right so whenever wherever possible 
try to add diagrams and equations. See here in this slide, you can see I have drawn an atom. It looks like an atom, right? So, by only looking at this diagram, see there are no sentences. I can say, okay, an atom has three subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, electrons, done. Then, the nucleus consists of protons and neutrons and it is at the center of an atom, done. Electrons are revolving around the nucleus, done. And extra points are we even mentioned. Neutrons are neutral, protons have positive charge, electrons have negative charge and their mass is also. How many points was that? And no, not even a single sentence. It's only a diagram, right? Coming to equations. For every reaction, you can write it in the form of an equation, right? So don't go on writing, okay, this is this, that is this, and this is called as that is that. For that, you will ha you have your reference book or the textbooks. So here, in the first reaction, that is a redox reaction, you know how important a redox reaction is. So I have used different colored pens. H2S is giving sulfur, Cl2, HCl. So when there are different colored pens or the reactants and products written in different pens, it is easy for me. Okay, H2S to S. Why it is an oxidation? Oh, hydrogen is lost. Again, Cl to HCl. Oh, it is a re reduction. Why? Hydrogen has been gained. Easy peasy. Right? Then coming to the types of reactions, we know how many reactions we have in chemistry. Combination, decomposition, exothermic, endothermic, reduction, oxidation, displacement, double displacement. But see, A plus B gives AB. Combination reaction is done. When two or more reactants combine to give a single product, it is a combination reaction. Decomposition, single reactant breaks down to give you two or more products. Done. And the next point is try to explain the processes or the procedures using the flow charts. Okay, see here in this, the whole extraction of metals. It's all in a single page because I've used the flow chart and even I have highlighted the important words electrolysis, carbonate or sulfide or so for carbonate calcination must be done for sulfide roasting and then what are the reducing agents. It will definitely make it easy right when you're just going through it before examination when you're revising it this will definitely help you and mind maps though you know how effective they are. So, pura chapter, one page, right? So, try to make your own mind maps. And the last point is doodles. Um, of course, it is not related to the notes or what you have to do and what not to, but this will definitely motivate you or inspire you or just bring a smile on your face. You know, when you're really, you are best. So, I don't know, it will just make you happy, right? You are like, oh, even though you're tired, I'm like, I can't do it. Whenever you look at those uh, tiny, cute doodles, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I can do it. Chemistry is interesting. Easy peasy. Or even you can uh, uh, draw some reactions using these doodles. See, I've shown the ionic bond where there are two smileys. They both are happy. And I've even shown the aroma. That means the transfer of electrons. They both are happy because they have gained the octet configuration, right? So you can always add these kind of doodles if you are more reactive or creative you can add your own kind of doodles or diagrams you can explain the whole procedure using a diagram and even some conversations oh you know what is a react chemical reaction and then one more uh, will be saying oh yeah this is the answer you know the conversations it will it's it's also some extra points which will make your notes very very interesting Okay, so these are the points which I wanted to mention that will help you in preparing your notes in a better way. So let me know if you liked it, if it was helpful. If you are starting to prepare your own notes, please do let me know. I'll come back with one more amazing session. Till then, take care. Keep loving chemistry, elementary chemistry by Vedantu and of course your master teachers for a week. Bye-bye.